Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick rant that I've noticed in um, EMS. So I've been doing this for about six years now. Okay, I started, you know, I went to EMT school whenever I first came to Colorado. I got hired, been doing it ever since. Um, I'm just going to flat out say it. Some of the paramedics, EMTs, nurses, and doctors, um, some of y'all think that you're like literally Jesus Christ incarnated. Um, some of the paramedics and stuff that I've noticed um, think that they're what we call paragods. They think they know everything. They think EMTs are just pack mules. And, um, you know, they're God's gift to medicine. None of us know everything. Nobody does. EMTs, medics, nurses, doctors, nobody knows everything. They don't. It's reality of the fact. So I don't get why some people think they do, and then they try to, um, you know, make other people inferior, okay? Just because some of y'all have more education does not mean you're better than the person. I've noticed, I've actually gotten into arguments when I'm at work because I'll notice that, you know, uh, EMTs, they'll be bringing, you know, the equipment back and they have like their monitor, um, radios, what we have are logises for like GPS systems, uh, cold meds, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then the paramedic pretty much goes like, you know, well, I'm doing my trip sheet or something like that. I'm typing up reports. Help your damn partner. Like, you guys are partners, and it annoys me when people go like, hey, that's my EMT. You don't own the person, okay? You're partners. You bounce ideas back and forth on scene to be able to come up with a plan for patient care. You're not better, okay? You're not. And again, this goes for everybody. You know, like I said, some people will also with EMTs. They think they're God's gift to medicine, okay? You don't know everything. Nobody does. And another thing I've noticed with, you know, paragods, um, certain, you know, nurses and doctors, um, people are going to die. It's reality. For those who have been in this game for a while, you understand that fact. Um, you can do all the things in the world. You know, you have your bicarb, your epi, get the patient back to homeostasis as best as you can. People are still going to die. And I don't know if some people don't understand that fact, if they don't come to terms with that fact, because when it happens, it destroys them. You know, like, what did I miss? What else could I have done? You do everything you can for the patient, but sometimes it's out of our control. Trauma arrests, as most of us know, 95% of them don't make it. They need bright lights and cold steel right now. You know... Um, cause that's just reality of the fact. Some EMTs that I've noticed, they actually feel inferior. They feel dumb. And I'm sorry that, you know, I'm going around subjects very quickly. It's just something that's been bugging me for a while. EMTs, just because you have three letters on your arm does not make you stupid. It doesn't. Paramedics, just because you have your letters on you doesn't make you God's gift to medicine. It doesn't. If you, if you don't like what I'm saying, well, that's your own opinion. Because this is what I've been noticing. Some EMTs are afraid to talk. They're afraid to speak up about what their opinion is on, you know, what's going on with the patient. Because they'll feel that they're wrong. They'll feel that they're stupid. Because, you know, they don't have the letters on their arms. Some paramedics, um, you know, they'll think that this is what's going on. Like, you know, A, B equals C. Well, that's not how things work. It's not. It's sometimes it's not 100% of what's going on because we don't know that. We don't have blood work. We don't have x-ray machines. You know, we don't have all the stuff the hospitals do. You go through your assessment. You find a plan to best suit your patient's symptoms. And a lot of people, they don't like it when people, when other first responders on scene have a different outlook of what's going on. They have a different idea. They have different... Um, you know, a different plan of action to help the patient. Again, we're all supposed to be a team. We're all partners in this. Okay, not one person's right, not one person's wrong. You bounce ideas back and forth, pick a plan to best suit the patient. That's what it is. Patient care. 
Another thing that I've noticed, again, this is my personal opinion, is that everybody thinks that everybody needs to go to a hospital. Well, that's not reality, okay? Again, I don't know everything. I will 100% say I do not know everything. I learn things new every single day. But there's things that, you know, like patient advocacy, really giving them informed information so that they make a informed information of what they want to do. Or what me and my partner call community medicine. We sit there, we go through their vitals, we talk to them about what we think is going on, possible things of what's going on, what they could do at home, if they wanna to go to an urgent care, um, possible things that the hospital might do because telling people that to just to go to the hospital might give them this expectation that hospitals are going to fix what's going on. Okay. And then sometimes that they'll go to the hospital with their symptoms, they treat the symptoms and they get sent home, but it wasn't what the patient wanted. And then they'll sit there, go to the hospital again and again and again and again, because no one's talking to them. No one's informing them. And it's just, I've noticed it so much in the six years that I've been doing it. You know, you call 911, go to the hospital. You call 911, go to the hospital. Nobody talks to people. No one tries to inform them of what could possibly go wrong. Someone has a fever, go like, okay, your body, that is its natural response to a fever. You have your cold sweats, you're sweating, you're dehydrated. You know, let's talk about what you could do. Take some ibuprofen for the fever, some Tylenol, sip Gatorade, Pedialyte, water, room temperature so you don't vomit to rehydrate you. We're doing community medicine. We're informing people. We're trying to help them, not just screaming down the road with lights and sirens. We're helping people. We are. So, I don't know. I've just, I've noticed it and it, it bugs me. It does because... A lot of people I've noticed also are textbook, you know, everything that happens, you know, in your paramedic book, your EMT book, if it's out of the realm of that book, people freeze. They don't know what to do. And I don't know. It just, it bugs me is all. I just had to rant about it for a second. Um, to my first responders out there, if you have anything you want to rant about or something that I said that you would like to comment on, I would love to have a conversation about it. I would. Um, so I actually, ironically, actually have to go to work. I work at 6 PM and right now where I'm at, it's 4:30, So I got to get ready to go to work. So, and again, EMTs, you're not inferior. You're not. I don't care what anybody says. Paramedics, you're not superior. Don't care what anybody says. We are all trying to come together for best patient care. So, anyway, um, my name is Nathan, aka uh, Street Doc, Street Doc 187. And again, I need to go to work. But again, I love every single one of you. <laughs>